Good morning and welcome back to the one Celtic fans view Celtic YouTube channel, news channel. And in this morning's video, we talk about Marco Tillo. Marco Tillo, yes, remember him, the player that was signed from Australia on a five-year deal, a massive five-year deal for 1.5 million. He played his first game at the weekend. He played uh, for the first time since uh, he last played for Celtic B team almost two months ago. His time at Celtic has been hampered by injuries and it's been unfortunate for him, but he hasn't been seen in the first team in almost five months since joining Celtic. He made what can only be described as a cameo appearance for the Australian under-21 side on Saturday. He came on in the 81st minute. He came on in the 81st minute and then and that was him. That was him. So he's had some game time for the Australian under-23 team. One Australian journalist did go to Twitter and post that it was great to see Marco making his long-awaited return and uh, it said it's promising for Marco and Celtic since he's been sidelined since July. Another Celtic news this morning, the Celtic manager Brendan Rodgers, who at his time in Liverpool uh, had some fantastic players at his disposal, he has named a few Celtic players in the name of Kyogo Furiashi and Matt O'Reilly as players that uh, he reckons can go right to the top and he's compared them to a couple of Liverpool players that he had at his time at Liverpool. The Celtic manager is said to have said that uh, the evidence has been there in the Champions League a few times this season. The relationship that Matt O'Reilly and Kyogo have is, um, is impressive as far as he's concerned. When asked about Matt O'Reilly and Kyogo Furiashi, he went on to say, you make patterns on the training field and you're guided by the intelligence of the players as well. The improvision, uh, the game intelligence is one thing. Doing an understanding under no pressure is another. He says, they make the right decisions in the games. The relationship between the two in training and in the game is important. I had Madison and Vardy at Liverpool who were similar to O'Reilly and Kyogo. He says um, they were fantastic players and I hope that these two Celtic players can be on go on to have just as good a career. Brendan Rodgers has also taken time this week to congratulate and big up basically the coaching staff. He says the coaching staff at Celtic are like no other. He was obviously, um, he didn't have to bring any coaching staff to Celtic. You remember back when he tried to leave Celtic to try to steal some of the coaching staff from Celtic. But he now has Harry Kuehl in his coaching staff and at his disposal and he's been bigging up the one and only Harry Kuehl and an article he has revealed that the Australian has been working with a number of the summer signings to help his game he said look it what he has done to Palma. He says he's turning Palma into a really good player. He says Palma behind the scene wants to strive and get levels that is um, above and beyond what is expected of him at the moment but he is doing extremely well. Rogers has revealed that the Australian has been working with the summer signing to help his game. Palma has acknowledged that uh, this is a testament to the work that's going on behind the scenes to ensure the club strives and Brendan Rogers wants to make sure the club strives to reach the levels of dominance that the club has become accustomed to in Scotland. It's just a shame about Europe, isn't it? Talking about the coaches at Celtic, Brendan Rodgers did go on to say, he said, look, it's an incredible the amount of work that goes on here from the coaching staff. The, the coaching staff get a certain amount of players that they all have to work with and develop. Brendan Rodgers did go on to reveal the fact that Harry Kuehl will sit with the forward players and John will sit with the defenders, Gavin will sit with the midfield players. So it seems to be a really, really, really good setup that Celtic do have at the moment. He went on to say that Palmer is probably referencing to some pointers that Harry Kuehl has given him this season. It's great because that's where we are. We train the players, we give them confidence and improve them. That is our job and then once they can reference that, you can see that we're helping them and other people can see that we're helping them grow as players. Brendan Rodgers also went on to say, he said, I've been impressed with all the coaches. John Kennedy, for one, is absolutely brilliant. I obviously saw him at my first spell at Celtic. He's an understanding coach and it's incredible that he has the amazing thirst and he wants to learn more every every day. He says um, he works hard. He's working more hard than I've ever seen anyone in football. Besides all that, he's a good man and he's very, very loyal to Celtic, which is really important to Celtic and myself. Brendan Rodgers did then go on to say, look, I didn't know Gavin Strachan and Harry Kuehl, but I met them prior to taking to the job and I had a chat with them um, down in my house down south. And it says, uh, for one, I knew that Harry Kuehl was a fantastic player and he was world class and he was 
uh, his com commitment to being here at Celtic was something that I hadn't seen before. He says he's, he wants to really help our wingers. He's very good at it. I think as a former player, you have to give him that bit of gold dust. He just shares that. He shares that with the players and it's good for our team. And he gives a different point of view as to the rest of the coaching staff. I also went on to say that Gavin is an excellent coach. He's very diligent. He's a lovely human being. He has qualities. He says, um, we always have the, that for the players. And it's good that the players do have that with all the different coaches at Celtic. It does seem to me, looking from the outside, that Celtic and Brendan Rodgers is very happy with the way that the club is going at the moment, behind the scenes. And it's a bit disappointing, obviously, in Europe. Um, it hasn't been to the levels that we might have expected that we could reach this season, which has been a bit of a disappointment. But when you look at the way that the Rogers is bringing on players and the coaching staff in the background it does sort of look to the future it says that the dominance of Celtic and Scottish football can hopefully continue for many many years to come now it's obviously good having the likes of Palma and the team and performing so well but you've got to remember we have Lille Abada to come back Lille Abada is one player that we all know what he can do at Celtic he's another one that is a young player and he still has a lot to do in the game he still has a lot to do in big games, and that's where Lila Bada does it. And he has tormented the Sevco, the Rangers, a good few times. When you look at the Celtic squad, you've got a lot of good quality players. And um, I feel it's going to be a lot stronger when Lila Bada comes back. And you've got to remember as well, Lila Bada is still only 22 years old. Lila Bada only made five appearances this season under Brendan Rodgers, but he scored, a hat, he scored some cracking goals in his brief spell that he has been on the pitch this season. Um, in 10 games against the Sevconians, the young star has been on the winning side five times and he's drew twice and he's lost three but we never talk about them um, when you think about it Leo Labara he's found the net on a good few occasions against them and he does it on the big stage he does it on the big stage so let's just hope that the one and only Lewis Palmer can start producing um, to the same level because you can imagine Lewis Palmer and a bad on the same team uh, it's going to be fantastic for Celtic I'll tell you that that's one thing for sure and even as it stands just now, Lila Bada, he has scored 29 goals for Celtic. He has created 21. And uh, we'll be hoping that he can add another at least 100 odd appearances to the 106 appearances that he has had for Celtic already. Um, and let's face it, with the players that are going to go to the Asia Cup, getting a Bada back at that time of the season should be just what Celtic ordered. So all in all, it's a good time to be a Celtic fan, even though there's no Celtic games this weekend. The manager said there's been a sprinkling of Christmas gold dust uh, when it comes to the coaching staff at Celtic. And when you look at the coaching staff and how they deal with individual players and they've got all got their players that they deal with and different sections of the pitch, it's a fantastic setup that we seem to have at Celtic now. And it's no wonder that the likes of Ange Postacoglu and Brendan Rodgers in the past have tried to take our coaching staff with them when they leave the club. So on that note, have a fantastic day Celtic fans all around the world. Let's roll up to the party, pull up,